Reborn 1.3 is finally out. We got the new district fragment. I know I haven't played this in a while. Haven't made a video on this in a while. Uh, content went in a different direction, but uh, you know we're done with that. All that matters is I'm playing Reborn now, and I'm making a video because we got not five and not ten, but fifteen myths that we're gonna be confirmed to be true. Or busting to see if they're false. Pause, bro. Pause. Or busting to see if they're false. And I got Spob here with me. He's gonna help me out on some of these. What do you have to say, Spob? Yeah, what's good? You know, Spog. You know, he's he's deeply sorry for not delivering the content that you so <laughs> desperately need. So myth number one: If you watched my previous videos, you would know. I talked about this building right over here had a slice of cake in it. Now, we've had a lot of changes to the map. The real question is, is it still in the building? That's what we're gonna be looking for today. Now, uh, where was it? Was it? It was here, right? Can I just like, <gasps> look at that! It's still there. There is no way, bro. This cake has been in the game for so long. So the second myth for to, are you kidding me? So the second myth, while well, this guy is trying to drop kick me, uh, if you see that over there, there's actually a time trial. Oh my! There's actually a time trial over there outside of the map. So you used to be able to get to those time trials. Actually, the real question is, can we still get to it? All right. So I'm at this building right near the time trial. Unfortunately, it is night right now, so it is kind of hard to see. But I was told that if you actually window hold right before getting onto the building, you kind of bypass the teleportation for a little bit, which will let you um, activate the time trial. So I'm going to test if that's true. All right, so first you want to get right by the edge of this building. So you got to go like this and then climb onto it. You should be fine um, standing on the edge. So let me get a little bit closer to the time trial without activating the teleportation. And now I'm going to window hold. All right, I'm doing it for five seconds. So three, two, one, and then you walk forward. Look, at, it works. Look at that. And you can activate the time trial, but you do get sent back. If anyone figures out a way to actually complete the time trial, let me know. But other than that, technically myth confirmed. Myth number three. Someone told me that there is uh, like a secret weapon model here that is supposedly going to be like a weapon for later in the game but I don't know so I'm gonna look around I actually don't know specifically where it is so I'm just gonna speed this part up oh there it is whoa look at dude look at th that's cool is this gonna be later in the game but let's move on to the next one myth number four is there a Wendy's decal hidden under this building? Yes, a lot of people have been telling me about it. I haven't seen it myself, so I'm gonna check it out right now. Apparently you come down here and you just run into the wall. Of course. Why would they add this? Why is this a thing? But it's true, myth confirmed. All right, so myth number five is that they actually made um, pogo jump easier. So let's see if that's actually true. I'm gonna get a chain going. <gasps> Look at that! That's actually so easy now! Alright, you could just hold wall run, and when you're in the ground, you could just, like, you know, tap space again. That's so easy. So that's confirmed. Myth confirmed. Let's go to the next one. So for myth number six, is the fly glitch still possible? If you look at my channel, I recently uploaded a video about the fly glitch, and I'm gonna test it again to see if they fixed it yet, or if it's still possible. So, if you do the method, you run up to this, you grapple on, you press space, you reset your character, and you should fly. Now I'm gonna check it out, let's see if it still works. Alright, I got it right there, I'm holding E, and now I reset my character. And it still works, so myth confirmed, the fly glitch is still possible. Okay, so the seventh myth is actually that they removed the fish room. So if you didn't know what that was, it was actually um, right in this building here. Uh, some people say that they removed it. Uh, I'm gonna go check it out, let's see. All right, so I made it up near the building. <laughs> okay, so I made it up near the building. 
Um, and the fish room is apparently right in here. Look at that, it's still there! Oh, actually, you can- Alright, so you can't get in, but if you look through it, you can see the fish. There we go, it's still in there. Myth is busted. They did not remove the fish room. So the next myth, number eight, is that that boombox over there on that building, it actually plays music if you click it. So I don't know if that's true, let me go over there, let me see. So, you know... Why do you look like that, bro? <laughs> this is so stupid. Alright, so I'm by the boombox. Now, I'm gonna come up to it. Yeah, I'm trying to click it, but there's no music coming from it. It's a cool animation, though, but other than that, you know, myth busted. Alright, guys, so myth number nine is that there is a secret room behind this door here. So, this is in downtown, kind of near the start of Derwick. And if you look at it, there's a little, like, red dot here on the handle and it also says s instead of f but you can't actually get into it even though there's a prompt to say you know you can try and click on it, it doesn't actually do anything but if you come up to it and you run into it you can actually see there is a secret room in there and if you actually spam space near this door uh you know i've been i've actually been able to get into it so let's see yeah just like that you can actually get in and it has this little interact thing, but it doesn't actually do anything. This has nothing behind it, though. Uh, I really don't know what this is for, so, you know, if you guys have any ideas, leave it in the comments. But other than that, this is confirmed. This is a true myth. So the tenth myth is that if you window hold while someone drop kicks you a bunch of times, you're going to go, like, really fast. So I'm going I'm to test that. I got Swoop here. He's going to help me out. You got anything to say? Um, yeah, so... Does the myth work? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. Spug, are you ready to feel the thunder? <laughs> Woo! Alright, let's try it. Ready? And go. Alright, three, two, one. Alright, Spug, so you did that enough? Yep. Alright, alright, all right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh my god! No way. I might survive. I might survive. I'm not surviving. <laughs> Alright, that's myth confirmed right there, bro. The 11th myth is, can you stand on these drones? So, if you look around the map, you'll find these drones everywhere. Uh, you could swing on them with your grappler, but can you actually stand on them? Alright, let me give this a shot. I'm gonna do a backwards wumpy. Let's see if I can get onto it. Okay, come on, come on. Bruh. There ain't no way. I don't think you can. Let me try one more time. Let me try one more time. Nah. That's busted. You can't walk on these. Alright, so myth number 12 is that someone told me if you press the 5 key on your keyboard, you can actually get to a debug menu. That's pretty simple. Let me just... Oh, yeah, that works. So, you know, myth confirmed. Myth number 13. You know the music that, you know, plays in the game? Apparently, you can actually select whichever one you want. Someone told me if you go into this menu and you click up here... Ooh. Oh, you gotta click here. Alright, you got open default playlist. And you have every single soundtrack in the game that you could choose from. Obviously, Ball Tinge. That's the best one. So, myth confirmed. Myth number 14. Can you walk on zip lines? I got a zip line right here. I'm gonna jump onto it. <laughs> of course, you can't walk on zip lines. That's busted. Myth busted. And finally, myth 15. Can you get to the floating router at the end of Derwick? So, obviously, you can see the router's right there. Um, I'm gonna try and just get to it, you know, using backwards Wumpy. Let's, let's try it out. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Are we gonna land on it? You get teleported back! So you can't activate it legitimately. You can activate it, however, using the fly glitch. But since the fly glitch is a glitch and it's probably going to get removed. I'm going to say myth is busted. <laughs>